Hi, I'm George Lange. We're here at the uh, 2007 Good Guys Columbus Nationals here in uh, Ohio. And this is my 1967 Mustang that was built down in uh, Knoxville, Tennessee by Alloway's Hot Rod. This has been a really special weekend. We're really excited to be here. We were chosen as the top five finalists for uh, Street Machine of the Year, and it was an honor to be chosen for this. This car was originally purchased for this project, and it was an original uh, 390 GT uh, Mustang. The uh, engine is based on a 4.6 liter Ford modular motor with R500 heads, which are from the current GT40. This engine uh, was dynoed at 839 horsepower on pump gas, 93 octane. The uh, turbochargers will flow enough air to produce 1400 horsepower with racing fuel. The interior was installed by Paul Atkins, and the paint is by DuPont, and all of our cars have big rear wheels, small front wheels, and this car was a hot rod first, styling exercise second. Hi, my name's Brian Ferguson. I work for Rad Rides by Troy. Uh, the owner of the car, his name's Jerry Cruz. He couldn't be here today, so you're stuck with me. Initially, Jerry brought us the car to do an engine swap on it. He was friends with a gentleman named John Lingenfelder. He had done an engine, a special engine for a car he was going to do, but unfortunately he was killed in a racing accident. So Jerry wanted to take that engine and put it in a special kind of car. The car's a 66 Chevy Biscayne, 652 horsepower engine that makes 657 foot-pounds of torque. We put a roll cage in it, got Billet Specialties wheels. They're a one-off wheel. They're, the car's got a five-speed transmission. It's got a custom dash in it with classic instruments gauges. This is Brian Ferguson, Moose, saying goodbye. Thanks for checking out our car at the Nationals. Hi, I'm Kyle Tucker from Detroit Speed and Engineering. We're here at the Columbus Good Guys Nationals 2007. The car that we have this year at the Columbus Good Guys is a car we built for Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Dale had came into our shop to uh, ask us to build a car for him, and he wanted a 70 to 72 Camaro built. And he really had only three things that he really was passionate about in the car. It had to be his favorite color, which is orange. Had to be able to plug his iPod into it, and he needed a place for his dog to ride in the back. Uh, a little bit about the car, the car has a GM LS2 crate engine, 440 horse. It has a manual six-speed transmission, and other than that, it has all of our new Detroit Speed suspension components. The theme of the car was really based on what we came up with was a 70s road race Trans Am car. We put a lot of gray engine compartment paint, gray engine compartment paint in the, in the trunk area as a working fuel cell in the car. Inside the interior compartment is, is a full six-point cage, vinyl and black leather, and, and something to give it kind of a racy feel with a five-point harness. We put a quick load fuel cap in it as well. So it's a package that we put together and uh, something that Dale's gonna have many happy miles with, hopefully. Hi, I'm Art Morrison, uh, and we're at the Good Guys, Columbus Good Guys Nationals, and uh, the car that I brought this year is a 1960 Corvette. It has late model Corvette front suspension on it. It has a triangulated four bar solid nine inch Ford axle for the rear suspension. The engine is an all aluminum 427 cubic inch small block Chevrolet. Transmissions out of a, a Dodge Viper. Even though the way this car looks like a, just a pristine, beautiful restoration of a Corvette, it has actually done 1.1 G's on the skid pad. It has done 121 miles an hour and a quarter. It has, it has been a rather phenomenal car that way. The interior of the car is all done in, in red leather. An extensive use of carbon fiber on the interior of the car also. At SEMA show, the SEMA show last year, we won the uh, best of show with the Sony Corporation. And so this car will be featured in Gran Turismo, the uh, high definition version five of Gran Turismo. Now, what we've done is we've taken and brought drivability to the street rod market. We make these cars to where they can drive as good as they look. Hi, I'm Doug Hoppe. I'm at Columbus, Ohio at the Good Guys event. Right behind me is the 67 Mustang Fastback. We built this car to uh, compete for the Street Machine of the Year, and with the help of the Ring Brothers and all their designing and the Roush R427 we put in this car, uh, helped to put us in the five finalists, and last night uh, we did manage to win the Street Machine of the Year, and that was absolutely awesome to be able to do that after you spend so much time and love of trying to get a car built the way you want to have it done. The car's name is the reactor. The reason we called it that is because the reactor it can either be calm or it can be real explosive and that's just the way this car is. I mean you if you want to sit there and let it idle it's cool but if you want to get on it she'll she'll burn the tires and she really likes to move on down the road. I'm 
with Doug Hoppy. We won the Street Machine of the Year, and it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. It's, it's a real honor, and we thank you for coming. A dynode at uh, 839 horsepower on pump gas. The, the uh, turbo, the... the, the, the Oh, sorry. <laughs>